Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Inner Space. It's a... aesthetic flying game? I... been... there's like a weird resurgence... resurgence? Uh... I even know what I want to call it. There's like a weird, uh... trend nowadays for these games. Wynn created the inverse and keeps its world in worlds intact. The ancients built great networks to harness the energy called wind. The ancients prospered, but this would not last. Demigods arose and drained the inverse. The world ended. It is said the ancients tried to escape the inverse, but failed in their last hour. Now the world and its secrets await. Running mostly gibberish. Cartographer, autopilot, interface, activation, success, self-learning algorithms, compiling, success, cycling wind from ancient's battery, success, establishing cartographer, x archaeologist link, success, uploading program to airframe, success, press A to launch. Good luck, Archeo. Oh, cartography. For, that's what the random gibberish was. I'm, it's kind of fuzzy, so I wasn't like immediately capable of reading it. I don't know. Try wind hopping, go in and out of drift or dive to boost your way across the world. Okay. Roll left, roll right, roll settings, yaw left, yaw right. Hey, this is actually kind of useful. I wanted to look this stuff up. Throttle up or down. Yeah, sure. I'm terrible with this terminology. Okay, left shoulder to drift. Okay. I... Sure. Fly into the rock. Yay, I've destroyed said rock. No, come back. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's not so hard. It's gonna take me a little while getting used to this. Yeah, I gotta remember... Okay, break five rocks. Yeah, I've gotta remember I can roll. And it'll make it a lot easier. Oh, okay, so that is not a breakable rock. I... You know, honestly, probably should have, probably should have realized that. But whatever, not that big of a deal. We're we're in tutorial land. So we have a dive mode to work with. Exit the water. Oh, we turn into a submarine. Right. I forgot about that. I'm going to be very confused though because there's no very like overt up or down. To everything weird, I'm going to be kind of lost. Use drift to inspect the world before flying towards it. Good to know. Hello? Is anybody there? Hmm. The unit shows no reaction to external stimuli, stimuli, despite having components for language comprehension. I'll try again. Cartographer, can you hear me? Hello. Hello? Hello, you can respond, you're working. Greetings, greetings, fellow lifeform. I'm the archaeologist, and, uh, well, oh my. Uh, now that you've been activated, I don't quite know where to begin. Who am I? I suppose that's the proper place to start, yes. You, my friend, are an autonomous flying machine. Our, the first our world has seen in a great deal of time. Most likely since the time of the ancients. I constructed you from the designs that I found in one of the relics, and now, here you are, alive. And more so, speaking to me. Astounding. You're asking questions that I don't believe you're programmed to ask. Why are we here? 
I was, or why am I here? I was hoping you could research, uh, be my research assistant, if you will. As an archaeologist, I study the ancients, a highly advanced civilization who once lived here. However, in my expeditions, I found that there were places I couldn't reach. Areas I couldn't access. I needed a partner. I need you to soar where I can't reach and help me chart the uncharted. Hence, I named you Cartographer. Let's get to work. Alright, let's talk more discovery. Time to get to work. Hopefully you didn't skip your flight simulation, because you're about to get a crash course in Relic Collection. So let's test those wings and collect it, and then bring it back to me to analyze. Can't wait to see what it is. Oh, one last thing. For now, you should stick to the air. Your current airframe doesn't have the ability to deal with water quite yet. Good luck. Exit the pillar using left shoulder. Turn down. Right, I can control speed. Oop. Relic acquired. Oh, okay. So we have an ancient battery. Hold on. What is this? Pick up. Okay, this battery houses in a harness. Uh, houses and harnesses wind to be used in a variety of apparatuses. Despite its age, it appears that none of its wind has been depleted. It continues as if never used. Wind Phenomena The ancients were drawn to the living influence wind held over the inverse. Bearing witness to its many phenomena, they resolved to pursue its mastery. Gotcha. Okay, return to the pillar and speak with the archaeologist. Okay, so I assume that's him right there. No, this is something else. What is this? Nice job! Send me the relic so I can analyze it. Okay, when needed, deliver. Great, just give me a moment to study it. Why don't you take this chance to practice your flying some more? This may come, uh, may, may be some time. I'll notify you when analysis complete. See you soon. Okay, so we have talk, back, discoverable relics, when needed. Alright, let's just fly. I guess I could talk to the guy, but... Okay, upgrade is already available. Just come back and grab it. Oh my, this relic is no ordinary find. If my hypothesis cr is correct, it may allow us to explore far greater reaches than I first thought. Would you like to hear my theory? Yes. See if this relic... Uh, see, this relic is a large reservoir of wind, the main source of energy for the inverse. This device uses wind to activate ancient technology, for instance. It opened the door! You can now interact with ancient technology. If it opened that door, what else can it activate? Beyond this cave lies the inverse. I spend my days exploring in silence, journeying through abandoned structures, hoping to find anything the ancients may have left behind. By collecting and studying relics, I hope to record as much as I can about the inverse. This way, I can learn of its past and maintain its history. With this room, the gates of the inverse have been shut for a long time. But you can open the way. What do you say, cartographer? Do you want to see what secrets the inverse and ancients hold? Do you want to unravel the mystery of this place together? Let's go. Fantastic. By the way, you can access the relics you've collected via your airframe's digital menu. Take a look at it when you get the chance. Now let's depart. It's a little bit more talky than I thought it was going to be. Love the visuals, though. I oh right, I have to de I have to depart personally. But yeah, uh, like I was saying at the beginning of the video, there's kind of this new trend for aesthetic flying games. I'm not really sure why. Uh, they all evoke a very similar feeling to, like, Abzu, or, I guess, even more, more recently, well, recently, importantly, Journey. You know, kind of these quiet, aesthetic, very beautiful games, sometimes with an emotional backing. How did he get over here? I have no idea. Alright, whatever. Wow, nice landing. While you're here, is there anything you'd like to know more about? Uh, let's see. Relics. Relics represent a link to the past, to a world controlled by the ancients. As you can see, they're useful. They helped me build you and helped you open that door. Imagine what else they could teach us. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Ancients. They were a highly advanced civilization that once lived here. Their technology surpassed anything I've ever been able to create, at least until you. I've studied them all my life, but I feel as if I still know very little about them. If you can help me uncover more relics, I'm certain we'll discover more about them. And how did you get here? 
Lucky for me, there are underwater tunnels beneath, between these rooms. Don't be jealous. I may have fins, but you have wings. That's why I gave you the airframe, after all. That, and flying terrifies me. Uh, let's see, and that's it. So, let's find a way out of this cave. I'll look around. I think I came that direction. So, we should probably just head this direction. But yeah, I... I actually really adore these like aesthetic e flying games. They're they're fun, uh, and it's interesting to see what they all come up with because they tend to be very unique. If um, if basic, I I don't know if I'd say basic is the right word necessarily. Well, here we are, the mouth of the cave. Just fly through that tunnel and ah, uh, now this is a problem. The tunnel is blocked. Hey, see those ropes? Think you can cut them like with your wings? You should be able to cut them with your wings. You're a rugged-looking creature, I dare say you could. If you're running low on space, try drifting around walls to make tight turns. In the places I want to show you, drifting will come in handy. Now then, fly! Okay, so drifting is for tight turns. I... I don't think I have an HP bar. I could. Supposedly, there might actually be boss fights in this game. Which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure how that'll go. Fantastic work. Now we can leave this cave. I'm excited to see what you can do out there. Do whatever you have to in order to collect relics, cartographer. Cut ropes, smash through walls, and if you have to, create new paths. Just watch your head. You never know what those ropes may be attached to. Keep flying. I'll see you soon. Ah! Ah! Okay, there we go. I can pilot. And this is pretty... pretty confusing. <laughs> Dawn Vessel. Okay, well, we should probably go talk to the guy before we go anywhere. Okay, perches allow you to rotate before launching left shoulder to aim. See, we want to go probably up there. We've got these, like, weird colored orbs. that I feel like I should probably collect. Well, this is pleasant. But yeah, I don't know, just, there's something, there's something about these kind of, like, aesthetic flying games that really just kind of chill me out in a very good way. Like, it's, it's fun to be able to just, you know, fly and relax and have a good time without thinking about too much. What is this? Oh, that's a relic. Relic chunk discovered. More remain. Okay. I'm just gonna kind of fly slow. Half this is... Uh... I mean, this is, like, mad tight. Okay, uh, let's see. We had more the way we're coming. Or, where... Uh, we had more the way we were. But it is... A little hard to maneuver. The thing is, uh, so the entire point of this this world, from what I can tell, is uh, it is kind of more... I don't know if it's more stone than anything else. Okay, that looks like something interesting, but I don't think I can do anything with it yet. Let's check for a second. Yeah, that looks like something I open, not smash through. Ooh, the, uh, the weird bubbling effect. Uh, the fisheye lens is going to give me a headache, I think. This is one of those games where the field of view might actually be too steep for me. But I think it might also just be the world. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, so everything's going to be kind of inside-out looking throughout this entire game. So these are perches. These actually have nothing to do with, um... Anything. So I think that's where I came from. Just 
trying to decide. Is there anything else? Why does that perch have something blue? Okay, here we go. What remained? Life after the ancients. Trapped for untold centuries, they wove their homes like branches around great mountains. Theirs was a life of simple decline, reluctantly drawing from the past from past strength in gentle parasitism. Oh, looks like oh, there's some ropes there that I can cut. They lived with the hope that this state would bring wisdom and enlightenment. Okay, so we whoop, we have something going on over here. Okay, I'm gonna have to come around for another pass. Or not. Okay, well, whatever I did, I wrecked something. Am I just really large? Because those structures on the side almost felt like just basic frameworks, but that might actually be where these people lived. Yeah. I am huge. I'm this, like, big plane thing. Alright. Why not? Doesn't bug me much. Okay, another relic chunk, and... Breakable thing. Well, I should probably just go through here. I don't really have a plan on what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so this is a perch. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I almost wish rotation was actually handled with the shoulder buttons or something. Okay, crystallized machinery. Clean. This relic unlocks the piano airframe. Wind gathered, deliver the relic to the archaeologist to receive the upgrade. Machine part, attach. Attach. Mechanical joints. This creation exhibits a range of mechanical ideas, but its complexity is not matched by the weathering of its use. It may have been salvaged or built by individuals who did not fully grasp the design. Ragged sail, woven from the mycelium fiber, Sails like this were used to slowly capture wind from the air. The siphoning allowed the users to suspend homes high above the ocean. That's cool. Anyway. Okay, and I assume I'm just supposed to swing by the archaeologist here. This might mean I can go underwater now, which would let me leave. Does that work? Kind of works. Okay. So, deliverable relic. There we go. Okay. What is going on here? Okay, so this is me. So... Oh! I've changed. So, yeah. Ooh, I am pretty. Or at least the ship I'm flying is pretty. I don't know. I'm pretty. Okay, so, talk. I'm glad to have your services underwater, cartographer. My sub's not nearly as agile as you. There are plenty of treasures to be found in the deep, new places, uh, in the deep. New places to explore. Speaking of new places, you've sparked my curiosity. Just like your airframe, there's no reason for us to stop here. Several ancient sources reference a constellation of chambers, multiple worlds, but this is the only one I've ever seen. I suspect that structure is what the ancients call a transverse gate. Apparently, they somehow use them to travel between chambers. Which world is beyond it, or what will it look like? I don't know. But as long as it remains locked, we'll never know. It, if it hasn't reached your battery already, then maybe it needs more power. Actually, now that I think about it, the energy inside that aquarium might be the power, uh, might be enough to power that gate. If so, we're not far from finally seeing the rest of the inverse. Why don't we give it a shot? Try and get that tank open. See that central pool? I wager it contains some sort of unlocking mechanism. Can't reach it, but perhaps you can dive in from above. Let's try out that new airframe. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Uh, that's all. Think of what's waiting to be discovered. Okay, back. And we... 
I should probably actually aim for water instead of just chucking myself in. But yeah, let's just go underwater for a bit. I bet there's stuff to... I bet there's a fair amount of stuff to be found just kind of floating around in here. Looks like I have a lot more control underwater. And I'm also slower, which helps. But yeah, I, I like this. This is cool. It, it really does remind me of Abzu in a very good way. Uh, admittedly, Abzu was much more about just kind of the, the looking. This is honestly kind of like a directed collectathon, which is in and of itself a really cool type of game. There aren't many. Like, collectathons in general have been kind of dead for a while, and they're, they're coming back. Uh, I don't entirely know why, actually. I mean, Hat in Time... Sort of ukulele. I, I think it's part of part of it is because 3D is starting to get cheap enough that like most indie developers can pick it up and and kind of put out fairly nice looking games, whereas previously, you know, previously, uh, 2D was kind of the only style that. Uh, that budget developers could really get into, but, you know, enough enough students uh, are able to pick it up, and enough developers that worked on 3D games were getting sick of it. Oh. There's something cool there, but I can't do anything about it. I gotta remember I can drift to do, like, a hard turn. Which is actually kind of helpful. Doesn't look like I can get in here yet. Might be some way of opening that door. Or maybe that's a door I have to... Unlock. I don't know. I will say the whooshing from being underwater is maybe going to get a bit trying. But still. But yeah, so for a while, a lot of... A lot of indie games really were just kind of 2D stuff. Thinking like uh, Rogue Legacy and Risk of Rain. and Well, those are roguelikes. I don't know. There were probably plenty of 3D indie games. It just feels like there were, there were more... There we go. Oh, relic acquired. Loose piece. Chip away. Chip away. Chip away. Entombed fossil. These remains seem to have under undergone an aggressive and accelerated petrification. The bones have been replaced with crystalline matter. Okay. It says I'm at 99 win, which I'm not entirely sure. I I thought I'd I'd be collecting like as much wind as possible, but that might not actually be the case. Well, I'm just gonna keep zooming around down here until I find something useful. Yeah, I can't put up my wings. I was curious, is like what happens if I transition to flight mode while I'm down here? And the answer is nothing. Well, should I? I should probably go turn the relic in first. I love the I love the water. I I love kind of the dichotomy between flying and being underwater. That's that's going to be neat. Hopefully, uh, future levels are a little bit bigger. The heck is the archaeologist? I don't see him at all. All right. Yeah, the one thing I I that might be a bit of a shame with this game. Oh. That's glass there. That's weird. Okay. Okay, I'm at I am at a hundred and one wind. For a second I thought it was one of those where uh For a second I thought it was it was gonna be one of those where uh you capped out at some like random, some like random wind value for no good reason. Oh, that was cool. But yeah, I don't, I don't. Oh, there, there they are. Oh, I've got piano wings. Oh, that's cute.
Okay, so deliver this. Sunfish home delivered for analysis. Okay, so it's the same thing. That is all. Huh. Doesn't care about this sunfish at all. Maybe we already got it. Okay, recently gathered. I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to get that necessarily. Yeah, I guess it just shows it to me. Huh. I can play with the battery for some reason. Okay. Flex. This creation exhibits a range of mechanical ideas, but its complexity is not matched by the weathering of its use. Okay, we've seen that. Flex. So we can interact with that. Okay. It's really like, it's weird. There's like these kind of nodes that we haven't seen before, and it was, I don't know. We also have a mapping engine, which I'm not entirely sure how that works. Oh, airframes, relics. Okay, so we've already seen the relics. Settings, main menu. So I can actually... Oh. So woodwind. So we can actually switch between these and they have different stats depending on what's useful. That's cool. Well, we'll leave that for later. Let's take a look at this first. I don't know how much wind I need necessarily, but still. Is that it? Huh. Okay, that's opened up a bunch of random gibbs and whatever the heck that is. Wait, is that like a weird manta ray spirit that's like exiting? It kind of looks like it. I think I might have to kill it. Oh, is that one of the demigods? It's probably one of the demigods that was mentioned. That's the only thing I can think of. Okay, so technically this is actually after episode 2, so a bit of spoilers, whatever, this game kind of looks the same. Once we get further in, it's going to be something different. Um, but so, I figured I'd do like a little bit more of a rambling, genuine, like, uh, uh, talking about this game, because I feel like I can't just... Yeah, no, let's not look at that. Um, I feel like I can't talk about this game and just be like, I like it, buy it. I, it's unique in the same way that like Journey and Abzu and kind of sort of rhyme and games like that all are. They're, they're aesthetically pleasing with good, generally good music. Um, I don't even know what that is. Generally good music and... You know, just kind of interesting little bits. There's a relic over there. That's cool that it actually lets me know, but uh, I don't want to get it because this is not an official episode. This is the ending of the first. Um, but, like, games like this for me are fantastic. They're they're very relaxing. They're very good chill-out games with, like, a, a, a unique and interesting universe to explore and see and experience. Things that, like... Most other games kind of shy away from. This is why I love indie games. Because there's some stuff here that, like, I've never seen another game do. And to be fair, we're just flying around. I'd love to play one of these games where you're actually, like... Oh, man. Playing this crossed... Oh. Playing this crossed with, um... Like, Breath of the Wild movement would be amazing. How cool would that be? You know, everywhere technically is down. Um... And, like, maybe you could do some stuff with, like, a, a powered glider. But you're actually, like, running and climbing around these structures and do, doing puzzles and whatnot. Obviously, that would be a little bit uh, much for this game. Uh, it is an indie product, and I shouldn't expect them to do, uh, to do, you know, anything particularly crazy. That said, I do like what they have. Like, I'm not going to be like, flying is dumb, give me, like, Breath of the Wild climbing. I was just like, suddenly, oh, shit, that would be an amazing game. Oh well. But yeah, just in general, I'm I'm having a really good time with this. This is this is a just such a such a chilled out experience. It's a good good game to come back for. Uh, 
just got back from vacation. I was like, what do I play first? Let's play Inner Space. So this will probably become like one of my late night, like, uh, I've, I've been streaming for five hours, I need to relax type games. I think that's okay. But yeah, so I really like this game. It is, it is very zen in a very good way. And I feel like there needs to be more games like this. And luckily, there have been more. And that feels really good. But obviously, it looks like we've got a fair fair ways to go. Nope, that's glass. Let's not let's not mess with that. Also, looks like this second level has opened up so much more. So if you felt like the uh, the first the like tutorial zone and the the first level were a bit small and a bit empty, well, uh, this got a bit bigger, and that's cool. That's the way I came from. Yeah, it looks like it. Anyway, uh, so I guess if you like this game at all, uh, it's twenty bucks out on Steam. PS4, I think? I know it's on Steam at the very least. Uh, so don't quote me on the other ones. Um, but it came out on the 16th. Would have covered it earlier, but I was dead tired from flying and my hands hurt. Uh, but yeah, so I guess if you like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And uh, if you want to see more more of Inner Space, hit subscribe because like, I, I am shoot I'm going to shoot for the end of this game. This is very pretty and v just just so delightfully chill. And for me, I love I love games like this. Oh. That weighs kind of down. Gravity is confusing. <laughs> it is totally variable here. I guess that's okay. Either that or that's wind, actually. Yeah, that's probably wind instead of... Oh, you know what? I bet I'm supposed to bump into those. I'm excited for that. But yeah, anyway. Uh, I guess before I continue to find the interesting things that I... You know, have to tear myself away from and tear us all away from. Uh, this game is fantastic, and I I love it already. So I guess I will see you guys in the next episode of Inner Space. And as always, thanks for watching.